Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know you all are excited for this plant-based keto challenge or mostly plant-based keto challenge that I am doing in October. So I'm going to start out this month with a vlog of all the groceries that I'm getting for my first week of eating plant-based. <laughs> So I'm about to head to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, which is about a 30 minute drive away from where I live because I'm looking for just some of the specific things that were from the meal plan. I am following the four week meal plan that is in Dr. Will Cole's book, Ketotarian. If you aren't like familiar with everything that I'm doing, I will actually link the video down below of me talking about like why I'm doing this, what it is, what book I'm following, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm doing along with my keto group so if you want to join and you're interested in seeing everything I will have that link down below as well but I'm gonna go ahead and I need to grab some like of that Kite Hill like almond cream cheese kind of stuff um, and probably like Trader Joe's has a lot of good nuts because um, I am going to soak and sprout my nuts sorry I'm like in my car and for some reason I think there's like I don't know there's like a line behind me I don't know if you can see that but it's like guess I'm not going anywhere yet. <laughs> There's also a storm coming, but um, yeah, I have like a whole bunch. If you haven't seen, I always do like my meal plan, like in my bullet journal. So I have my grocery list and the meals that are just from the meal plan. Um, this is, I'm going really far in advance. It's actually um, today is Wednesday, like September 26th. And I'm actually not starting this meal plan until October 1st which will be Monday but I was afraid that if I'm like working during the weekend that I won't have time and I don't want to like not be prepared for this because I really want everything to be like ready to go and all this kind of stuff so I feel like I have a lot of things on the list I feel like my grocery list is usually smaller but I haven't gone grocery shopping in a while kind of just because I knew that I was going to be like starting this so I'm hoping that it's not like too expensive like I don't want to be just buying like I don't know a whole bunch of vegetables and like use them once in a meal kind of thing so I'm hoping that this is delicious you know what let's go ahead um, I'm gonna wait for these cars to go and I'm gonna go drive to the store and hopefully I can show you all what I get um, from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and then I probably will wait until closer to do like the rest of my grocery shopping which is like the vegetables because I don't want them to go bad and then I'll just pick up this vlog on whatever day that is. And then I'll put it all together for you guys to see. All right, back from the grocery store. I'm gonna quick show you, cause my husband's like on his way home and I really need to start making dinner. So I'm just gonna quick show you guys like everything that I got that's like pretty much for my plant-based keto challenge. Uh, I'm gonna start with Whole Foods just because I wanna put this stuff in the fridge. So I got the Kite Hill Ricotta like almond milk cheese technically so it's made with almond milk water and almonds salt enzymes tartaric acid and cultures and i'm sorry if you like hear a lot of like eating and stuff i just fed the dogs so i got ricotta i got plain cream cheese um because i think we're eating it like with strawberries or something then i got the chive one and I got the jalapeno one because that's what like the recipes call for. Then I got some of the Kite Hill plain unsweetened almond milk. So, or almond milk yogurt. Um, so this is also, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, almond milk, locust bean gum, xanthan gum, agar, and the live active cultures. So this only has um, one carb in it, which is why I picked that one instead of some of the other ones. Then I also got some kelp noodles. Um, this was actually not on the plan. We're supposed to be eating like pesto noodles with like zucchini noodles, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of zucchini noodles. So I was gonna try and mix like kelp noodles and zucchini noodles together. That way, like I actually want to eat that meal. And then I did pick up um, this fourth and heart. Um, it's like ghee. And this is just a little like sample packet because I've been wanting to try their Madagascar vanilla bean flavor um, because I'm gonna go back to like making bulletproof coffees during this like plant-based keto time. And so I'm gonna have like eggs, fish, 
and like ghee and collagen. So all like really healthy um, like animal products when I am including the animal products. So um, I got this little like sample packet because if it's good, I wanted to order it on Thrive Market because it's a lot cheaper there. But I wanted to make sure it actually tastes like vanilla before I like go and order a jar and it's literally just butter. So that's the stuff that I got from Whole Foods. Then from Trader Joe's, this wasn't on the meal plan, but I found it. it does, it's cauliflower taboule. And so it's literally like grain free. It's made with cauliflower, tomatoes, parsley. It does have some canola oil. So I'm actually going to eat it like probably this week. Um, lemon juice, green onions, sea salt, olive oil, garlic, mint, all that kind of stuff. But it looks really, really good. So I wanted to try that. Then I got two jars of the like fermented, raw and fermented sauerkraut because this is really good for probiotics. Um, it's pretty cheap actually at Trader Joe's. And even though this wasn't on the meal plan, I still wanted to incorporate like some like fermented foods. And since it's cabbage, it's obviously plant-based. Then I found this nutritional yeast. Like I do love nutritional yeast and I have some. It's actually expensive where I live. And this was only like $2.99 for this four ounce bag. Like normally this is $5 or almost $6 where I live. And so this is really good. Like instead of actually putting cheese on things Then I found this, it's called seasoned Buffalo ghee with turmeric and other spices. So this is literally made from grass fed water Buffalo. And then it has Indian spices in it. It's clarified butter. So like I I'll be able to have it. So it's Buffalo milk, um, black mustard seed, turmeric, fennel seed, cumin, coriander, ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. That, I mean, it just, it was just cool. It was only like $2 and I was like totally trying this. So yeah. Then I got three jars of the coconut aminos cause like these are only like $2.99 and I don't usually like have soy sauce. I usually always do this. So, you know, love that. I needed roasted red peppers. So got those. Um, olives with garlic cloves cause I needed those. Kalamata olives cause I needed those. Then finally, I actually, um, the fish sauce that I was getting at Walmart um, actually does have like some sugar in it. And I've heard really good things about this red boat fish sauce. It is literally just um, anchovies and sea salt. And this is normally like eight or nine dollars. And I found it at Trader Joe's for like $4.99. So of course I got that, especially since I'm almost out of my other fish sauce. Can't go to Trader Joe's without everything but the bagel seasoning. Duh. I needed tahini, so I got organic tahini at Trader Joe's. More capers, I needed those, plus my, my husband really likes capers. Then I got some of the uh, solid white in water albacore tuna, that's for the meal plan. And then my favorite shampoo is actually this Tea Tree Tingle, like Trader Joe's version shampoo. I like love this stuff. I got it back in the spring and then when I ran out of it and I switched to just one from like Walmart, I hated it and like I love this. So I was super excited to get that again. And then I also got this, this is not for the plant-based challenge, this is literally just cause I like kombucha. Um, it's the fall edition with apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. I'll probably take this to work tomorrow because uh, we all like to like try kombucha together. And then let me go get the other bag. So in this bag, I just got some, bok choy just because I knew it's hard to find like where I live. I got some organic baby spinach which I'll actually probably get more at Aldi because I think it was around the same price. I got organic kale, more organic spinach like oh my gosh all the recipes have so many vegetables in them. I like vegetables but like I'm just not used to buying this many. I've been talking about this cauliflower gnocchi and no technically it's not keto but since I'm about to be going on this keto plant-based diet, I really wanted to try it. So we're actually gonna make it tonight. I'm gonna throw some chicken together and have this. So it's made with cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. Um, got two bags of those. Then I got nuts. I got raw almonds. I got uh, raw walnuts. I got some roasted cocoa nibs because they're supposed to be in like one of the like kind of fat balmy things. Then I got some pine nuts, cause that's also in the meal plan. And then last but not least, um, I think it calls for tofu or like something like that later on in the meal plan. And so since I saw this at Trader Joe's, I thought I would get it and then just save it. But it's organic sprouted tofu, which I think that's better. Um, I know that we're supposed to have like fermented tofu and, um, but I forget what I read, but I saw this and I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna get it. It's sprouted, whatever that sounds healthier than the other kind. And so I got this at Trader Joe's and um, you know, whatever. If it's not exactly the quality that I'm supposed to have, I'll just throw it in one of the meal plans one of the weeks and uh, we'll go from there. So that is everything. I'm gonna go cook dinner and I'll probably update you guys with the rest of the stuff that I have to buy because I need to go um, in a couple days to like Aldi or whatever and I guess get like the rest of my vegetables. So I'll show you that. Hello everybody, welcome back. I can't believe I'm actually wearing a hat and I'm not going to work because where I work I have to wear a hat and I hate hats. But today I was like, man, really don't feel like washing my hair yet because I have to work tonight. I'd rather wash it tomorrow because I'm off. And then I was like, uh, don't really want to go to the grocery store and people look at me and be like, does she even shower? Like not what I have to put up with that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do what everyone else has told me to do. You just put a hat on, you kind of look like you came from the gym or took a hike, you know, people can't really judge you for that. And uh, I'm gonna go to the grocery store like that. So I have my grocery list in my bullet journal. I actually just finished editing my October plan with me. So by the time you're seeing this on Sunday, my plan with me will be live because today is Friday and it goes up as soon as it's done uploading because it takes hours. Um, so I'm going to put on my shoes, go to the grocery store, get the rest of the items that I need for this plant-based keto journey. And uh, then I will film like the rest of my grocery haul just so you can see like, you know, what I got for this week. Okay, my arm's getting tired from holding my phone. Let me, um, where's my shoes? From my shopping trip I went to Aldi I went to Walmart and I went to Kroger at Aldi I got some roasted pumpkin seeds asparagus spring onions garlic because I'm really lazy at like peeling garlic and it's just so much easier since I use it in everything I did get organic cherry tomatoes I got two packs of these um, cause I looked up like the dirty dozen. And so I really tried to get the dirty dozen ingredients like as organic, um, just because I'm really trying to focus on that a little bit better. Um, the only problem is they did not have organic whole, like whole tomatoes. I could not find anywhere. So I did have to get regular ones. I got two heads of cauliflower. Um, I got some organic blueberries. This little pack was like four dollars oh my gosh but i know it's really important and normally i would get organic like frozen berries at aldi and it's only like 279 for like a pound or i don't know maybe it's less than a pound i don't know whatever was in the freezer bag um but this needed to be used on like a salad so it's like can't get frozen so i gotta enjoy these i did get some Kerrygold butter because i'll probably make some ghee um, I got a lot of avocados. I think I have like five or six of them. And then some of the stuff in here is for my husband, even though he's going to be doing the plant-based keto because I'm not going to cook like a million meals. Like even when I have kids, it's going to be like, you eat what I cook too bad. Start if you don't like it. So I am following this meal plan. That's what's going to be cooked. That's what's going to be prepped. That's what's going to be grocery shopped for. The majority of the time and then my husband i told him he can just follow along if he's at work and he wants to eat chicken or meat like i don't care that's fine um but any of the meals i pack are just going to be the exact same thing that i'm eating um so i did pick up just a couple things because it's like if he is going to eat meat i don't want him to be eating like my kite hill cream cheese and stuff like that so i did pick him up his regular like half and half because he likes that in his coffee I did get some of the plain whole milk yogurt at Aldi because um, he does like parfaits. And since I'm going to be having the almond milk yogurt, I thought, you know, just get the regular one for him. And then he really likes this natural peanut butter from Aldi. Um, and so it does have peanuts, cane sugar, palm oil, salt, and molasses. Um, but he likes it as a treat. So I actually got, I got a different, I think I got like Skippy or something. And he was like, Oh my gosh, no, I like the Aldi stuff. Get me that again. So that's what I got. I got some organic romaine lettuce, some lemons, jalapenos, some frozen salmon with the skin on. This is always the best price at Aldi 
this whole two pound package of wild caught salmon is like seven dollars and I don't know, 49 cents or something like that. It's less than $8. So got this because um, that's such a good deal. Got three English cucumbers, eggplant, two packs of this organic baby spinach because according to the meal plan, like I feel like spinach was in everything and spinach is definitely one of those things you need to get organic. It's filled with pesticides if not. And so I got two bags from Trader Joe's, but then I wasn't sure if the price was very different from Aldi. Now for Walmart, I needed some organic peppers. So they had a red one and a yellow one. Um, I needed organic celery, so I got that. I needed, I actually needed smoked trout, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And so I've gotten these like smoked wild kippers before. So I got one pack of these and one pack of the smoked sardines. Cause I actually, I really like this brand. It's BPA free. It's naturally like wood smoke. I needed bee pollen. So I got this bee pollen. It's not organic. Like I didn't know if there was a certain, um, like, I don't know, like, do you need to get raw bee pollen or I don't know <laughs> the certain things that you need to like look for, for some things, but this is what they had at Walmart. I had gotten a little pack before and tried it. And I mean, it was like, eh, it wasn't anything like super cool, but I think that this is filled with B vitamins? I don't know, I'll pop it up on the screen if I'm wrong, cause I forget. For protein powder, he talks about in the book like different kinds of protein powder, which one's good, which one's not. I do have some egg white protein powder and he said that's pretty good. Um, so I do have some of that I can use. And then I have my normal collagen, which is a great protein powder and I'm going to use that also. But then he does call for hemp protein powder and stuff and I've never had it before. So I figured why not get it? This was actually six, or so dollars for 15 servings at at walmart and i had been looking at it online and it's the same 15 servings but it was organic online and it was about 11 or 12 dollars so i decided to just get the one from walmart and see how it is this has the fiber in it so it's 11 grams of fiber and so then it's only two grams of net carbs then I got some zucchini at Walmart. I got the tomatoes because I was looking for the organic ones and couldn't find it. And then I did get, this wasn't really on the list, but I was out of extra virgin olive oil. Last but not least, we have what I got at Kroger. I needed to get some red beets. And the only thing I did not get on the list that needed to be on the meal plan was rainbow chard or even chard in general. I could not find chard anywhere. And you would think with it being fall, I'm pretty sure it's like a fallish crop, like spring and fall in the cold, but whatever. Couldn't find chard. Don't know what I'm gonna do when I get to that recipe. I'm just gonna wing it, or if I have a lot of spinach, I'll just use spinach, I don't know. But I did need beets, and I was gonna get whole beet, like regular beets, but they had like these already, you know, like roasted and cooked beets on the clearance thing. So I was like, you know what? Save me the time and hassle, pretty much the same price, whatever. So I got three of those. These ones do have white wine and balsamic, but that's literally the only ingredients. So I was like, eh, whatever. He did call for flax oil in some of his recipes. Never really had flax oil. Um, it's pretty expensive. Like this little thing was like $8.99, but hey, um, it was on a woohoo deal. So it was only $3.99. This one is the cinnamon flavor. If the regular one would have been the $3.99, I would have gotten the regular flavor because I don't want really a flavor, but I didn't want to spend $8.99 on something that I was like, ew, what if I don't like it? I'd rather spend $3.99. And I figured the cinnamon, I could put it in like smoothies or something. So that was my whole entire grocery haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to be doing a weekly vlog of this because I had a lot of people that were excited about it. So I start on Monday. You're seeing this on Sunday. So I'm starting tomorrow. Wish me luck. And I'm going to try and vlog all of my meals for a whole entire week. So every Sunday you will see my update. Let me know in the comments if you are following along with me, if you're in my keto motivation group and you're doing it along with us. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.